this feels sometimes like theatre in terms of the great dialogue and the great language. This is a great question. The medium of words and the medium of pictures, what does it mean? I think this has the potential to be the teacher movie of its time. I play a guy who is, uh, he's an English teacher at a school and he's a kind of functioning alcoholic. He drinks too much, but um, he is a very, very good teacher and he was a very successful writer a number of years ago and, uh, and now he's teaching and he's struggling a little bit. Miss Del Santo, on the other hand, she's, she's a tough, she's a tough cookie. She doesn't really show anything, really, emotion-wise. <laughs> to us, she just kind of cracks the whip. She's going through different layers inside her, first of all because of her rheumatoid arthritis, and also she had a knee problem. As she's, you know, searching as a painter, she's going through phases of questioning herself about, you know, the way she paints. And also because physically she cannot do as well as before. Together they kind of revitalize one another and I guess uh, lead them to a new path. She's an art teacher. She very quickly, you know, runs around the school telling everybody that art is everything and that language is, is less important. Jack's a great lover of language and a lover of literature and he gets quite offended by that as an idea and it kind of galvanizes him and it, he in turn galvanizes the kids into creating this school-wide debate over art and language. It's just this exciting new thing that we're doing at a, a regularly rigid preparatory school. So it's a, it's a pretty unorthodox thing to do here and it's, it's got all the kids really pumped to compete in something like this. The war between words and pictures is something that Croydon Prep needs. It inspires the students, inspires the teachers. It sort of fires up and while all that's going on, slowly but surely, he and, and Dina are sort of coming together.